Born in Kwandebele in Mpumalanga, Shade is a budding musician and artist in South African, in the South African music scene. Now the singer joins us to chat about his music career and the release of his new single, One Night. Welcome to the show, Shade. Thank you very much for having me, Palesa. I <laughs> love your entire look from head to toe. <laughs> you definitely came prepared for all things Friday and getting into the Friday spirit and the Friday mood. Now I need to start with the name Shade. It, it kind of makes me feel like you're super shady, baby. How did the name come around? So it's always a funny story because those that are very close to me, uh, they say I'm very shady. Uh, <laughs> but I mean, for, for the rest of the world. So just as you say, said that I, I'm from Kwandebele hey. in Bumalanga. It's still very traditional there. Uh, if you see uh, a, a group of the man or a family meeting mm. it takes place under a tree shade mm. so even when i started i wanted to create important conversations really around my music so i chose the name shade uh but yeah obviously it's always a talking point where they're like you throw shade or else if you come to my shows i'm always in shades as well they think it's because of because that, of it that has, it has nothing to do i with love it. that deeper meaning that i would have never thought about but it is so important yeah. not only just of course the lesson behind it but culturally yeah. you know we grew up knowing that we're storytellers yes, essentially as indeed. people and how do you use your music as a means to tell your story um you know my writing process um i i i'm in love with words i i listen to people's stories i tell them through 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 my music i write a lot of poetry so all all in all i'm i'm a all story encompassing. yeah of course of course i mean sometimes the stories are not even deep sometimes i'm reading stuff on social media and i'm like this is a song here i could be telling this story i could speak so, about this exactly yeah. and especially because our generation is so driven in terms of the digital content and yeah. the digital space how have you used everything that you have around you whether it be digital whether it be your own mind the people around you to kind of push your your own endeavors in music and and in everything that you do. So I'm an indie artist, right? Yes. And it's it's super difficult, but um, I'm not one to sit and cry about mm. that I don't have a PR machine uh, that's you, that's pushing my brand. Social media has been my space for the longest. Even when I started, I remember I went, I did a photo shoot without anybody knowing that I sing. I opened up an Instagram page and people were like, what's going on? What's, who is what, he? Who, yeah. who are you? And I'm like, I'm a singer. I, I, I make music. Mm. And I actually got gigs. I love that. I got gigs, and but social media has just been that space for me. Uh, everything, how I sell my music, how I curate my look, everything just happens within that space. We're moving into a brand new space now yeah. where a lot of generations before us didn't have the platforms that we have to our disposal. I mean, we don't even have to think twice. We just upload our yeah. content on digital platform and kind of sky's the limit. Indeed. So you use your huge voice to get yourself out there. Of but another cause that you're using your voice for is something so integral and so yeah. important, which is, of course, the communities that are oppressed, the communities like the LBG and, and so on. I know it continues to grow the title. Yeah. Um, and you use that to kind of stand firm and say, hey, enough is enough. Yeah. Why is this so important to you? I mean, uh, I'm queer myself mm. and um, I've realised over the years, or you look at the industry, there's so many, there's so many queer yes. artists that are there, right? But s some are signed, some are bullied into not living their full truth because they, mm. you know, they, they're told that they will not appeal to certain markets and all of that. So, mm. but for me, I'm just saying I'm I'm representing. Mm. I, I I will stand for the community and uh, even with my music, with mm. the look everything about it. Sometimes I may not make um, I may not make direct references into my songs, but it's because I just want to say, listen, yeah. I'm singing it from your from from your perspective. And I think that something is so beautiful as music that is kind of a universal language. You yeah. don't need to call something out by yeah. its name yeah. so that people can interpret it the way they feel true to themselves. It's about being true. It's about being authentic and organic. And thank you so much for standing in your truth and sharing your craft with us. Thank We're you very much. Your performance. Yeah. Yes, I'm looking forward to it as well. <laughs> now, after the break, Shade performs his new single live in studio, Don't Miss Out.